we're sitting in my car and we're about to go into somebody's house. They're not home, but they've given me access because we're about to paint their piano. Got my supplies. Let's see what we need. Oops, sorry. Okay, she said to the left of the kitchen. This would be the door. All right, and there it is. So I've had a migraine for three days. I look a wreck, I know, but I gotta get this video done. And the lady that we're gonna be painting her piano. Used to be my principal. I went to private school. Yes, and I haven't talked to her in a long time. I didn't even know she knew that I was painting furniture. And she texted me before we left to Miami and I scheduled it for now. I wanted to come and see it before we started to work on it, but I, I had a migraine and I just couldn't get here. So we're about to go and look at it for the first time and I'm hoping that it doesn't require a lot of prep work and I'm wanting to paint it, seal it, and go. So it's, I'm thinking it's gonna take me at least two, maybe three days. It's not bad. I wasn't sure exactly the condition that it was gonna be in, but I, I brought some Bondo. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna start off with lightly sanding it to get it um, evened out. What do you think about it? I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. She wants it black. And so let's go ahead and get started. True day. I'm gonna do this in stages. I'm gonna move this down. And I'm just going to take a 120 with my sanding sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. Here's a used 120, so I'm gonna use this. There we go. with this rag I'm just going to wipe this down normally I don't wipe it down but I'm glad I did it's hard painting in someone else's house or in a different location because you don't always have the tools that you need and as I was cleaning the piece, that's when you really get to know your piece, see what it needs, 
what you think you might have to do to fix it. As I was cleaning it and touching it, I try to touch all the pieces. I realized that the veneer is coming off right here and it's really loose right here. So I sent Ari home to get my syringe so I can get some glue underneath here and then clamp it because I definitely want this to be clamped down so it won't come up and glue down. But that is really the only part of this piano that I think right now is gonna give me some trouble, but we're gonna go ahead and paint the rest of it and I'll leave that piece for last and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna use the S50 by Klingon. I have soaked it in water and taken out the excess. And now we're gonna use DIY paint in black velvet. Never want to overload your brush. Normally, I use a thinner glue. It's made by um, Typhon as well, but I brought this one and I had a hard time getting it in the syringe, but you do what you gotta do and it worked. I love Typhon products and so I just inserted it, I lift up the veneer and just insert it as much as I can and later on I also had to do the other side as well. I realized that afterwards and just wipe off the excess glue as um, it comes out and just be sure to get it all in there and it is gonna work wonderfully and then all you have to do is clamp it down and I left it overnight I'm often asked the ratio of how I clean my furniture and what I use it's a 50 50 blend of vinegar and water I don't measure it's approximate and the piece still was feeling a little bit rough so I took a finer sandpaper and I sanded it again and then I ended up scuff sanding the entire piece just because it had a glossy finish and it would just help in the long run. DIY paint will adhere to almost anything. It's amazing paint. It's so luscious and thick especially the black and really I could have done one coat coverage but she didn't want any distressing. She wanted it solid black and so I went ahead and I applied it with minimal water especially the first coat. My, my brush was nice and wet and that just helps for the paint to glide and then I just applied it all over one coat and as you can see it really is a good one coat. The reason the DIY paint can adhere to almost anything is because of the clay and also because of the clay it does dry a little bit lighter and you can see that really well in this shot. It dries super fast especially when it's hot and it was very hot in Kentucky that week and I was in a garage that wasn't air conditioned. So you can see how it's drying and a really good one coat coverage. All right, this is day two. 
and I am here at her house. I came and I looked at the piano. It looked good overall, it just had two spots that had bleed through. And I forgot to bring shellac, so I had to run to Lowe's because it was easier to just go there. I got the last can of shellac, yay! <laughs> and i um, waiting for, so you can see the shellac right there behind me. I'm waiting for the second coat to dry because it was a pretty bad bleed through. Technically, I should have done the shellac before I painted. I knew better, but I wasn't feeling well. This bleed through is due to me sanding it down. And I had a feeling, and that's why I meant to bring the shellac, but this right here was probably due to oils. A lot of people like to use Murphy's oil or different oil-based products to clean wood, which is a painter's nightmare, really. And truly, that's why we use degreasers and all kinds of products to clean it up. I have a second coat on the bottom, as you can see, and then I'm going to be working on a second coat right here along in front of the keys. And then as soon as this dries, we're gonna go ahead and hit the top and, the, and that piece, which closes the keys, um, down. We're gonna do that part, and then we're waiting on this to almost dry. It's almost there. And then I put a second coat on this that holds the, uh, the lyric book. And then we're gonna flip it and do the other side. I don't want to wet the inside of this keyboard, so I always like to spritz my piece to do my second coat. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of paint, and then I'm going to spritz my brush. Just another way that you can do it, and it just helps the paint to glide. I'm just gonna keep hitting it. As I feel it dragging, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it, and then, Paint it. I'm fighting the urge to spray the piano. Almost done. Now on the inside, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do this, so I waited. But um, I'm not going to paint this inside unless she tells me to. I don't want to get close to the in inner workings of the keyboard. We are going to leave the inside of the top part because it has the company logo. We don't want to ruin that. Um, so that we're going to keep that on there. So it makes sense to me to keep this wood. So anywhere where I painted, all I'll do is I'll just wipe the stress, just clean it off with a wet rag and it should come off really nice. Typically you'll see me do clear wax and then black wax. But because I painted it in DIY Paints Black, I just went ahead and did a black wax. It helps it not look streaky and it helps intensify the black color, which looks amazing. The brass parts in the bottom by the wheel were in need of some major help. So we took the Posh Chalk pigment and I mixed it with DIY Paints Big Top and it is literally like liquid gold. Way better than gold leafing. And so much easier. And it's faster. I have these products available on my website as well. LisaBoonDesigns.com. You can see the links in the description. See? Liquid gold. Yes, baby. So I meant to do my outro at her house and I just left. We showed it to her and she absolutely loved it. She was so happy and that makes me very happy. It's going to look so great. She's going to put some knobs on there and it's a win. 
back to what it looked like in the beginning. And now let's see the transformation. I really don't recommend waxing in a very humid environment because it takes the wax a long time to set up and dry. I did go ahead and buff it. This is the third day. I buffed it really well and what we discussed with the my client is the um, once it goes inside let's let it sit there for a bit in the nice cool environment and see if it needs any touch-ups I don't think that it will she went ahead and she put a fan on it so that it could start um, cooling off because wax melts and so there are some wet spots that are still there but I really think that it's going to iron itself out this happened to me once before in a piece that I did for my mother-in-law you can see the video here uh, where I about died thinking it was ruined, but it wasn't. So tell me what you think. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Comment below and let me know, have you ever painted a piano? And if you painted a piano, what color would you have picked? Guys, have an incredibly blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Ciao. Ciao.